I think I know. I've got, I do have some here. I could, I could read from these, but I, I do this one right. So, uh, orange hot in Bermontov's chains took shape before cooling off with lemon tops in the shade of foundry walls. Congas down the social club, right tangle on the shore. In our still shrouds by scarred hills wrinkled with iron, we follow Jake. Swaledale, booze to Bridlington, by Spa, by Grinkle, by Skinning Road, by Fryer. Gorged on Palmo, forged like palmet rails round pleasure gardens. Thick with soot, bent with the being looked at. Ships framed by our tempering hands. The works tips into the Sharabank. The dozen Dudley cousins in their Boston Scarlet Austin truck. By Hayes, by Bushbeck, by Scuddale, by Fancy Bank. And that was that was Lynx. <laughs> Sorry, John at the end of his poems goes, that was whatever that poem was called, and I think it's a nice so I was just copying that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was that's called Lynx. I'm thinking whether I should leave it to Lynx, it's a bit of a pl uh, plain thing for a poem that's got a lot packed into it. But that's what it's called at the moment. But I was travelling to like bits of it that weren't that well known into the hinterland of it. And of course, when people think of Middlesbrough and Red Kerr and all they think of is industrial dereliction. They don't think of the history. They don't think of how that places like that have forged, literally forged, because it's iron, forged our communities, forged our history, forged our industrial history, made the, the, the links between all them communities were forged in places like that. And it, it riffs off to, it starts off in Leeds, Bermontoffs, it goes to Dudley, which is the West Midlands, it's like the, um, another iron producer. Now there's iron right the way through, so there's the links, there's the communities and all the rest of it, and that's why, and, and it's packed into one little poem. And poetry can do that. Books, you know, like a, a novel, novels are great, but they can't do that in such a short space of time. It's a distillation of, and that's why, obviously you can't go onto a stage here and read a novel, can you? But you can do a poem. So that's another reason I do poems. But before COVID, I really only went to one or two. I didn't really, you know, do much. But what happened is over in East Leeds, there's an art centre called Chapel FM. So uh, you can look them up after you've done this interview. You go, who's he talking about, Chapel FM? They're over in Seacroft. And um, there's a radio station there. And uh, I do stuff on the radio there. Uh, I do a sports show, but I also do poetry and what have you. And uh, that was just before COVID. I, I was doing stuff, and then I got involved with workshops. And I started to meet online mostly because it was while the COVID thing was on. Um, some really interesting poets and all that. So I really started getting involved in the, the poetry scene and starting to think about well, if I'm going to publish my poems on, you know, like broadcast them. I probably need to start polishing them up, making sure they're quite good, rather than just tossing them off. Mm -hmm. So that's what I done. I started to I started to work on them a bit more. Uh, and Chapel FM itself has an open mic night, which John's been to, um, and it happens usually every every month, every couple of months, depends. Yeah, you know, but um, they're great. They're, they're safe spaces. There's people there that maybe wouldn't perform except it's a safe space for them to do it and they take it's, it's a deprived area they take people off the streets not off the streets but you know off the estate around that thing they take them off there they turn them into poets these kids who wouldn't otherwise be struggling just in an estate with nothing going on they've they've got somewhere they've gotten out and not just them kids old people there's old there's an old piece of people's choir now people who've never sung before in their lives they sing that's that to me is brilliant. That's just that's what it's all about. It's been instead of people sitting around doing, I don't know, are we allowed to say fuck or bugger on it? So doing doing fuck all, they are going down, pulling something out of themselves they didn't know were there. That's that that's what it's, that's what life's all about. So that's why I do it, and that's why all those people do it, and that's why you're doing this because it's good to have a project and do something. 
create something. And that's what you'll create something. We create something, obviously. Everyone, if you're doing that, it's going to help your mental health. It's going to focus you on, on life, human condition, and that's what it's all about. Honestly.